think that during Too Fast, Too Furious, they starved Tyrese Gibson. You got something to eat up in there? We hungry. We hungry. Too Fast, Too Furious, the sequel that does not star Vin Diesel and relies heavily on the white boy Paul Walker and the newcomer Tyrese Gibson and the hotness of Eva Mendes. Without Vin Diesel's muscles and his dramatic staring moments, this film had to travel all the way to Miami to get hot women to make this film look attractive. But I did find enjoyment in the sequel to the original film, The Fast and the Furious, and this is about Brian, who is in Miami now, and is living a nice life, uh, racing in a really nice Nissan Skyline. But uh, the cops find him, and they say, you know, you gotta work for us, uh, uh, take down this evil guy, and then you'll get your records clean, but we want you to work with someone else. And so he chooses an old friend, Tyrese Gibson in Barstone, uh, it goes by the name of Roman Pierce, and together they race uh, fast cars, get into some trouble with Miami bad people, and uh, try to get this hot girl, Eva Mendes, to like them. I really liked the cars. I really liked all of the intense racing scenes in it, and it still holds up. I really like the movie. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It has some of the most memorable cars in here, especially the blue and silver Nissan Skyline, which to this day is some of the coolest uh, racing scenes um, in the movie franchise, even though they still keep that crappy CGI and that whirling by moments uh, when they have the shots in the car and then it's going by really fast and it's just like you're just driving across the whole entire country going super fast, but really you're just on one tiny street. So I don't really like the CGI in here. Um, just like the first film, they did show a lot more of the cars racing throughout the streets, which I did like and added for in some intense moments, but the CGI definitely was still there and looking crappy as always. I did like um, the relationship between Paul Walker and Tyrese Gibson. They were really fun together. It was more serious with Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, but here it was more lighthearted and upbeat with them. They were joking off of each other. Um, Something happened in their past that they just didn't really describe much, but they got over that quickly and just had a lot of fun with it. You can tell that off screen too, they had a lot of fun. Um, they were saying some things, most of the times I did not understand. Now put your blouse back up, hater. But overall, I did like the relationship here and they worked really well with each other. But one thing I really don't like about this film is how filled it is with Tyrese Gibson saying, cuz, bruh. And even getting to Paul Walker where he's cuz, bruh, and Ludacris going cuz, bruh, every single line, every word that came out of their mouth was cuz, bruh. So with this movie being filled with those words, it kind of dragged it down to the bit where it's like, let's have some better dialogue. It does have some hyperspace CGI look with the cars, a cookie cutter villain, and a cookie cutter plot, but... Nothing too crazy about this film, just that I really did enjoy the intense car scenes. I like the soundtrack here, it was upbeat and poppy, and I like the relationship between Tyrese Gibson and Paul Walker. So I can put aside uh, the plot because, you know, with these movies you don't really focus on the plot, you're focusing on, I guess, the relationship in the cars and the the hot women in here. Side note, I was in love with Suki. Um, the racer in the beginning of the film in sixth grade she was the best thing in the world uh, not so much now but I did enjoy the intense race scenes uh, there was a lot of them in here which um, I'm kinda missing now I do miss the race scenes for pink slips and money just not race scenes that are meant for something it's like those random race scenes and there was a lot of them in here that's uh, why I, I kind of like it more than I should because I just like those racings and there's some really cool cars in here But Too Fast Too Furious uh, not as good as The Fast and the Furious the first one But still enjoyable. So this is Just Watch Movies with his review of Too Fast Too Furious And uh, please can someone give uh, Tyrese Gibson some food in here because he is hungry